On a gloomy day, taking pictures with Santa under the big tree at Sundance Square, that is a big hit with families. But a couple of moms tonight say that thanks to a not-so-nice volunteer, their children were left high and dry after waiting for hours. So what's the backstory? Gilma Avalos live tonight in Fort Worth with the rest of this. Gilma? Doug, parents say they expected a wait. This is a popular attraction. It is Santa after all, but they say it wasn't until they had already waited more than two and a half hours that a volunteer shut them out of their photo op, leaving kids in tears and parents furious. Tonight, families lined up to get their snapshots with Santa well after the time he was due back at the North Pole. But Jessica Novak says on Sunday, her two year old never got to sit on Santa's lap, and neither did other children around her. It was just really sad to see kids crying and saying that Santa was mean. Novak says she was in line by 4 45. She figured she had plenty of time before 8 p.m., closing time to see the big guy in the red suit. After waiting two and a half hours in line, she says a volunteer broke the bad news. It was like, Kind of like a scare tactic type thing. Like, if you don't leave now, I mean, you're, I mean, I'm just telling you, you're not going to get to see Santa. Novak says there were about six families still waiting with her. We had 15 minutes until 8 o'clock, and they shut the gate in our faces, and they, there was no apology. The volunteers are helping Fort Worth sister cities. Every penny from the photo line benefits that organization. Novak says the volunteers she dealt with will likely end up on the naughty list. He told the mom in front of it, Jesus Christ, lady, you should have gone to the mall. And... It was just, it was kind of heartbreaking. A spokesperson with Sundance Square calls the volunteer's behavior unconscionable and says he did not represent Santa, Sundance Square, or sister cities in an appropriate manner. There are signs near the entrance with closing times as well as a warning that due to its popularity, the photo line can close up to two hours ahead. Novik says that would have been a much better solution. Not wait two and a half hours to tell people you've been here this whole time, you're not going to get to see Santa. The Sundance Square spokesperson explains volunteers are trained to do a hard close, even if it's several hours ahead. Now, we were told that Sister Cities reiterated the policies and procedures to volunteers to prevent this from happening again. We should also note that another mom reached out to us as well as Sundance Square via email with similar grievances. She has been offered an apology. Live in Fort Worth, Gilma Avalos, CBS 11 News. All right, Gilma, thank you. Well, you can